Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'll be showing you run and gun shooting with the Nikon D3100 DSLR. And I'll be showing you what I do to make it as easy as possible to have a small camera to be able to run and gun shoot video. So if you can see I'm using a mirror to record myself because I haven't done this before I don't think but I'd rarely be able to use my camera in the videos because I need to record it. So I had a lovely friend who actually managed to put sense into me and say, use a mirror. So I did that and it works. I'm not sure where to look. I'm not sure if I look there at myself. It probably looks weird in the video, so I have to look into the lens for it to look correct. But I'm playing around with the f2.8 prime lens. Absolutely beautiful lens. There it is there. It's fantastic. But I've kind of cheated a bit because it's not a very good lens for running gun shooting. You would probably use the, the kit lenses are quite good for running gun shooting on a budget because they've got stabilisation. On the top of the camera you can probably see a little recorder here. It's hard to get into perspective in the mirror but basically it's a little audio recorder with a stereo mic but I've got a lav mic plugged in here and then a um, my Bose headphones, Bose IE2 headphones plugged in to monitor if you can see there. So that works really really well, I can hear exactly what I'm saying and I can check the levels Got a little lavalier microphone down there, so that works. But you can also unplug the lav mic, and it's now in the stereo microphone on top of the camera, which is all right. It's again, it's just like a slightly higher quality in-camera microphone. So also on this camera, I've opted to use the um, battery grip for the Nikon D3100. If you can see that there, um, it's actually the um, popular one people get. It's, I think it's called Mikey or Mika. It's from China, but it's um, it's quite a nice one actually. It doesn't match the quality of the D3100. I'm, I was a bit surprised when I first got it. Um, the front grip is actually all right. So you can use it portrait. Sorry if that's got all wonky, but you can use it portrait. Um, but the generally on the rear area, it's not as high a quality as the, but it does hold two batteries. And I've only got one in at the moment. I've ordered a second one so you can't even see. There's a little battery door at the back, at the back of it. Now another thing is, which is really good for running gun shooting is using the strap. Now a lot of people don't like using the strap and I can understand exactly why because it's it's more cable, um, more more stuff in the way and I've managed to root the cable so I can take it on and off. But with the strap on here, yeah, I can actually lean against it so I can pull forward and then keep the camera perfectly steady or pan really, really steadily. And that works really, really well for me. Okay, so I have actually switched the kit lens, so I was telling you about how that's slightly better. Now the manual focus is a lot harder, it's very, very sensitive, but you can add a lens with quite easily, and it does zoom, so you get a wider shot and a medium telephoto shot as well. That works really, really well if you want to do that. And the last thing I want to tell you about, which is really helpful, is this. Now it is, um, I've done a review of this, you want to see that. It's a LCD viewfinder, so I'm gonna switch that around. You put it up to your eye like that, and it goes into the camera. So you can't actually see that, but um, I can put my eye up to it and keep that extremely steady because I've got all I've got um, more points of contact on the camera, and I can much more easily focus and um, zoom without that much shake. It's really good. So this is good for running and shooting, and a zoom kit lens is good for running and shooting. So, I can get that in focus. Thank you so much for watching my video on running and shooting with the D3100. Subscribe, please.